Okay, so now that you know what a significant figure or sig fig actually is and how to count them, um, the main point of a sig fig is that your answer in a calculated problem has the least amount of sig figs as whatever um, givens you are given. So you need to know how to round them because in the calculator, you're just going to get a string of decimals and you have to round them to the correct number of sig figs. So here's some steps to do that. So you're going to count from the first non-zero digit to the number of sig figs that you're rounding to. You're going to look at that very last digit, and you're going to round that last digit based on the number behind it. You never get rid of placeholders, and the number must always have the same order of magnitude as it did when it started. Okay, so for example, oops, got to turn my pen on. All right, so for example, if I had the number 1.234, and I needed two sig figs from that, then I'm going to start on this side over here. I'm going to go, there's one sig fig, there's two sig figs. All right, now look at the number behind your last sig fig, that three. Does that three make my two round up or stay the same? Hopefully you said stay the same. So that is 1.2 sig figs. Okay, um, let's look at some other examples on the next page. So here I have a string of examples where I'm um, basically asking how many seconds are in this many amount of hours. Now you notice I use 52, 52, 52, and then 50, right? So I'm just trying to show you how our answer will change as we decrease the number of sig figs um, that we have going down here. Because here we have four sig figs. There's three sig figs, two sig figs, one sig fig. So that means our answers should have, for each of these questions, should have that number of sig figs. So to do this, you would, um, of course, calculate. So you would have 52.00 hours over one. So this is an Algebra 1 skill that you should have had where you um, use dimensional analysis to cancel units. So you have hours there, hours there, so they cancel. And of course, you know there's 60 minutes in an hour. And now we need to get from minutes to seconds. So in every one minute, there are 60 seconds. Okay, so now we just multiply our answer going across the top. All right, when I multiplied everything, I got a final answer of 187,200 seconds are in 52 hours. Okay, so for this first one, because I started with four sig figs, my answer must have four sig figs. So if you look here and follow our sig fig rules, you'll notice that this already has four sig figs. So I'm done. Okay, now here we would get the same mathematical answer in the calculator, but we need to round that to three sig figs because that's what our given had was three sig figs. So if I take my number, all right, there is my three sig figs. Does that two make my seven round up or stay the same? It's gonna stay the same. So it'd be one, eight, seven. There's my sig figs. Now these numbers right here, you can't just drop them off. Okay, they are still important. Okay, so you must keep them. Even though they're not significant, they are important. They are placeholders. Okay, so 187,000. All right, the next one, again, it's still the 52 hours, but now we have two um, as our number of sig figs. So I need to get this number to two sig figs. So there's my two sig figs. Seven makes my eight round up. So one, nine, and then all of these placeholders you have to keep. So I need four zeros behind here. Okay, so instead of 187,200, it's about 190,000 seconds. All right, now this last one's a little different because it, it completely changes my, um, my beginning number, right? But same process, so 50 hours, and then if we use um, dimensional analysis like you did in Algebra 1, hopefully you remember some Algebra 1. If not, 
We will work on that too. All right, so then when you multiply everything going across, you get 180,000 seconds. Okay, now this only has one sig fig. So this answer can only have one sig fig. So that one right there makes that eight round up to two. I mean, excuse me, the eight makes the one round up to two. And then the rest of these you have to carry as placeholders. There we go. All right, so we'll practice some more with that in class, but that's the beginnings of how to round to the correct number of sig figs.